welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie, and today I will be going over the popular books that I have not read yet, or popular books in a series that I have not yet finished. So I do have a lot of books here to go over, so let's just get right into it. The first book that I have here that I have not started yet is the Raven Cycle series by Maggie Stiefvater. I really want to read this because I hear a lot of people say good things about it, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. I have a lot of books in my TBR, but this one is definitely up there. The next book series that I have that I have not yet read is the Rebel of the Sands series by Alwyn Hamilton. Um, again, this is another one that I just haven't gotten to yet. I do have the first two books, and I believe the third book is either coming out soon or it just came out recently. Um, but again, this is one that I'm really looking forward to reading. I just haven't picked it up yet. Then the next series that I have that I have not yet read is the Shatter Me series by Tara Moffey. Um, I know a lot of people are probably going to be mad at me for not reading this one, uh, but it is on my list of things that I would like to get a hold of because a lot of people, again, have really good things to say about it. The fourth book did just come out recently, um, and a lot of people have said a lot of good things about that one. So, of course, you know, I want to see what everybody's talking about. So this one I will be picking up soon. The next book that I have that I have not yet read, and a lot of people are probably going to be upset with me about this, but I have not yet read Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. And I know that he just released the cover for the third book, Dark Dawn, and I am so excited to read this, but I just haven't gotten a hold, I just haven't started it yet. I don't have an explanation as to why, I've just had other books that I wanted to read first, and I want to make sure that I'm not like in a reading slump or anything for this one because I really hope that I enjoy it and I want to make sure that I read it at the best possible time for me to enjoy it. The next series that I have not yet read is the Queen of the Tearling series by Erica Johansson. Um, again, like a lot of these books, I've heard nothing but good things about it, and I really do want to read it eventually, but kind of the same thing with Nevernight. I want to make sure that I'm in the mood to read it before I pick it up, uh, because I know that I'm going to enjoy it, but if I read it when it's at a bad time, I probably won't enjoy it as much. So I have not yet read this series. I do own the entire series, though. So once I do read it, I'll probably just binge it. The next series that I have not yet read that I'm a little bit late on is the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. Um, I just actually recently picked this one up. I know that this one was popular a few years ago, but again, late to the game on this one. So I'm hoping that I can pick it up soon so that I can see what everybody's talking about because I've heard good things about it. I actually did enjoy the movie that they released, but I know that a lot of people who have read the book series say that the movie is not that great. So if I enjoy the movie, I'm hoping that I'll really enjoy the books. The next book series that I, again, own all three books that I have not yet read is the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor. I don't have a reason, again, for not starting this one yet. I've just had other books that I've been more interested in reading first. But I have, again, heard really good things about this one, and I do plan on picking it up at some point. Um, hopefully this year I'll be able to pick up most of these books, but, you know, just haven't started them yet. I have not yet read anything by Cassandra Clare, which includes The Mortal Instruments, The Dark Artifices, and The Infernal Devices. I have all of the books in all the series for her, but I have not yet picked up any of them. I did read City of Bones and City of Ashes way back in like middle school, but I don't remember anything that happened. I did enjoy the movie as well as the TV series, but because I'm about where the second book left off, I believe, um, I want to pick this up before I finish the series, so don't hate on me for this one. The next series I have here that's pretty popular that I haven't yet picked up is Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. I have both the first and the second book, and the third book just got the cover release and is coming out soon. So I haven't yet picked this up, but I want to pick it up before the third book out, comes out so I can just binge through all of them and read them all at once. The next series that I have not yet read is the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. They did just release the fourth book kind of in like the spin-off series or like continuation of the series. Um, but I haven't yet read even the first three books, and I own the first two, so hopefully I'll be able to get to these ones soon as well. This next one I feel like a lot of people haven't read because the movies are so popular, but I have not actually read the Lord of the Rings series by J.R.R. Tolkien, just because I love the movies, but I really want to pick up the books and see what the difference is between them, and just because I love the movies so much, I want to pick it up and read them, but I haven't done that yet. And I own all three individual books, and then I also own the 20th anniversary, 20th, 25th, 
50th. 50th? Let me check. It's right here. Yeah, 50th. I don't know why I thought 20th. Anniversary edition bind up of the entire series. So hopefully I'll be able to get to one of these versions soon and I will let you know what I thought of them. The next two series kind of go hand in hand, so I have not yet finished. I'm in the middle of the third book of this one, but I've not yet finished Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo, which is the third book in the Grisha series trilogy. Um, I'm reading it on audiobook, and to be honest, I'm not quite connecting with any of the characters. I haven't connected with any of the characters throughout this whole series. Um, if anybody's interested, I can do a review on the series once I finally finish this book, which will be hopefully soon but I have not yet finished this series. And then to go along with that, I also have not yet read Six of Crows, um, which I know that a lot of people love this book. And I really wanted to read the Grisha series first because I know that that one takes place before this one, so it's not necessary to read that one first, but just for me, I wanted to read it before getting into this one. I did try to read this when I first got it, and I just wasn't interested in it, so I was hoping that if I read the Grisha series first, then I would love this one. But who knows, so I have yet to read this one. The next series that I started and have not yet finished and don't know if I'm planning on finishing is The Thief by Megan Wallen Turner. I know that a lot of people really love this one here on BookTube, but I read the first two books and just wasn't, again, connecting with any of the characters, didn't really think that the plot was that interesting. So I don't know if I'll be finishing this one, um, but maybe I'll give it another shot since I know that there are a lot of people who really like it. And I don't know if I read this one at a good time. The next series that I own but have not read the whole thing of and actually don't think that I'll be continuing with it is the Selection series by Kira Cass. I did not like the first two books that I read. And I know that it's a three book series and then there are two follow up books to the series. And I own all of them. So I really want to read them just because I own them but I didn't really enjoy the first two. I didn't connect with any of the characters. I thought that the plot was very juvenile and dry and just didn't really enjoy them. They were really quick reads, but I just didn't enjoy them, so I don't think that I'll be continuing with this series. The next series that a, the third book just got released that I had not yet read, um, that I've seen a lot here on BookTube, is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. The reason why I haven't picked this one up yet is because of how big it is. I really, really am interested in reading this book as well as the two follow-up books, but just the size is just throwing me off and I just have not read it yet. I know I always say that I love big books. If you follow me on um, my bookstagram, I'm always saying how I love reading bigger books because you get more with the characters and things like that. But this one is just so big. It's, it has to be over a thousand pages. Yeah, it's almost... Yeah, it's almost like 1,200 pages, and it's ridiculous. And I do want to read this sometime because I know I've heard a lot of great things about this one, and I love Brandon Sanderson, but I just have not gotten to it yet. I just need the motivation to read that. The next series that I, again, own all the books and have not yet picked it up starts with The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski. Um, again, I've heard really great things about this one. At first I thought it was going to kind of be more like the selection series, that I wasn't going to like it or anything like that. But a lot of the reviews that I've read and the people who have reviewed this that I really trust have said that they really enjoy this book series. So I'm hoping that I can pick it up soon and form my own opinions on it. I'm trying to fly through these books before my battery dies, so let's just go in through the next series. And that is uh, the Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Meyer. I own only Cinder here, um, but I just have not yet read it because I don't know if I'm in really in the mood for like a sci-fi fantasy type retelling yet. Um, but hopefully I'll be in the mood for this soon and we'll be able to pick it up. The next book that I have not yet read that is pretty popular here on BookTube as well as everywhere pretty much. Instagram, Twitter, here. Um, the only reason I have not yet read this one is because it's a new release, and that is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. This is one of my most anticipated reads of 2018. I just haven't had the time yet to pick it up because I am kind of in a reading slump right now. Um, I think mainly because of my March reads, which if you go back and look through at my March wrap-up, I'll talk about that a little bit more in that video. Um, but I'm really looking forward to actually picking this one up and reading it. It's kind of the same thing as the other books that I talked about where I know that I'm going to enjoy this one so I want to pick it up at a time where I know that it'll be 
enjoyable for me and that it won't be a struggle for me to read it. And then the final three books I have here are ones that I can see a lot of people getting mad at me with for not having read yet. And the first one is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I know that Legendary is coming out soon and a lot of people loved this book and also the cover is beautiful. But I just haven't read it yet. I haven't had the time or the motivation to really pick it up. I do want to read it eventually, um, so hopefully soon I'll be able to get to this one. The next series, well, right now it's just one book, but the second book is coming out soon that I have not yet read is Strange the Dreamer, also by Lainey Taylor. I've not yet read anything by her, so of course this one is also on my list. I own this one, and I know that, um, I think it's called Muse of Nightmares or something like that, is the second book and is coming out very soon. And I've heard a lot of good things about this one as well. I just have not yet picked it up. Now, the final book that I own that I have not yet picked up, I feel like a lot of people are going to get mad at me for this one. The third book did just come out, and everybody is raving about this book series. And that is Illumine by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. My copy does not have the dust jacket because I bought it used off of Amazon. Uh, so, of course, go me. Um, but a lot of people will really enjoy this book. I wasn't sure if I was going to pick it up because of the format. I don't know. I've never read a book in that this format before. Um, if you're not aware, it's all written in like IMs and texts and things like that. Um, it's very different from a regular book. So I just have not yet picked it up because of that reason. But a lot of people convinced me to pick it up on Instagram. So here I am and I have it and I have not yet read it because I just got it in the mail a few days ago. So that's it for the popular books that I have not yet read. Um, please let me know down below if you have also not read these books so I don't feel so alone. Um, and also let me know if you have read any of them and what you thought of them because I would really like to know seeing as I have not yet read them. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!